So this is a lot like his opening route here. He's going to uh, to push forward and uh, work his magic. So actually, I take that back. In the opening route, he went to that green car near the hot spot. Here he's cleaning out. Um, I think Flower Shop is the call out for this building. And uh, gets two. So there. There's another spot. He knows the spawn. And um, given that his team has A, B, and those guys are pushed back at Charlie, they're spawning in that parking lot where he called the... Um, uh, the chopper gunner from earlier in this game and uh, he dropped the the Harrier on a highly trafficked area the way from the parking lot to the C flag or the um, uh, the alley there that leads towards the B flag and um, uh, that's a good idea he only got one kill out of it but uh, how many times have you called in the Harrier where the airstrike got nothing now watch him do this he's not running up the middle there uh, let's take a look at that again what Sandy isn't doing here is he's not running right up and standing in that doorway. Um, that doorway you could think of as the outer rings on a bullseye, just sort of you know letting everyone know where you are and uh, and that you're ready to be their victim. Instead, he takes a position on top of the flower pot behind the dumpsters and controls this engagement. Uh, as I watch this more, I didn't see what I expected to see, or I should say as I watch Sandy more, I don't see what I'm expecting to see. Um, what I expected to see was him to just sprint all the time, for him to have some sort of laser beam eyesight that killed everyone in his field of vision. But uh, what he actually does is he aggressively moves forward, and um, it, I hate to even call it a camping spot. You know, would ever dare accuse Sandy of being a camper, but he moves uh, aggressively from one position of advantage to another. And um, what he what he doesn't do is he doesn't stand there in doorways. He doesn't run um, down the middle of streets. Um, he stays towards the edges of the map a lot, and uh, and he makes sure that all these fights happen on his terms. Uh, you guys who've watched all my videos have, have probably seen me say like, "Oh, he saw me in the window. I saw him in the window. That was a fair fight." And I don't do fair fights, so I, I left and found a different fight. Sandy does that same thing. Uh, he's not looking for fair fights when he works his way through this game. All right. Now we're back in the gameplay. Uh, watching this go. Oh, so he has the chopper gunner now, and he's looking towards calling it. I'm going to make a guess here and say that uh, if he didn't have a nuke in his pocket, he probably would have stayed and defended Alpha in an effort to come back from, and come from behind in this game. Um, I've watched Sandy play a lot, and he's a winner. He's not a guy who sits there and racks up KD. Even though in some of his highlight games it may look like that, uh, he's all about winning games. So um, uh, so rather than hold A, because he has the win in his pocket already, he pulls out the, uh, the chopper gunner and goes to town. Now with the AB spawn, for the most part, these guys, or with the AB flags, most part they're going to spawn at the top of the hill on Alpha, and um, so that's what he does. He focuses his effort, uh, well I guess on this map, on anyone he can kill, but the guys who spawned recently in particular, uh, he wants to end. So here it is. It's a double nuke game, and uh, you know, we all love to watch double nuke games, so, uh, so there he is. He rocked it, and uh, now he has two nukes in his pocket. And um, uh, he's just going to push forward and, and do his thing. So one thing I noticed is uh, as he came out of that door, the first thing he did is he strafed to his right. And I think that was to get out of the line of fire from people who are on the second story. And I don't know what, it, what that call out is, the Charlie building back there. And uh, well, there's a spot where he didn't have cover, where he had a fair fight. And um, which is not to say Sandy can't win a fair fight. But you're not going to win them in 11 times in a row all that often. Uh, if you want to get a couple chopper gunners in a game, you need to stack the odds in your favor. He knows that, and uh, that's what I'm doing. Now, up here is a section that's coming that uh, that I wouldn't have done. And you know, that doesn't mean it's right. I mean, Sandy's a beast of a player. But do you see him in the doorway here? Uh, he has a quick exit in case he starts to get shot. And you can see he moves in and out. But... Um, I'm going to say the reason he's successful there is just the power of the silencer. Uh, he's killing those guys from the side and uh, gets a few shots. Uh, here's that same guy, Japko, with his, uh, with his miracle lunge, and you know that'll happen. So uh, let, let's watch him move forward again. Doesn't work out for him. So he's killing a lot of guys from the side here. And I think all game long, it's safe to say that most of his kills, he's not shooting people in the chest and the face. Most of his kills, he's shooting guys in the side, you know, he's shooting guys in the back, and um, that comes from effectively navigating the map. It's one of the things that I think makes Sandy Sandy. 
because uh, you know, he's up in there when they're not expecting him to be. They're not expecting him, and this might look like a beastly play, and, and, and sure it is, but um, you know. I don't know. I don't want to say he was probably unhappy with this, but I bet he wasn't happy to die. I bet if you offered him the opportunity to stand in the middle of five or six people, he would decline. And uh, yeah, it worked out well for him because they were kind of focused on the air power and such. But um, uh, just the same, I, I think what Sandy would rather do is try to shoot guys in the side and the back uh, every time he could. So um, let's watch him play a little bit longer and see what we can pick up. Yeah, again, I think he's using the power of the silencer here. Uh, they don't necessarily see him. A lot of times they're sprinting forward, and I think he's going to get killed right there. I think what happened was he was strafing sideways uh, in an effort to sort of be a hard-to-hit target, and that concrete barrier was there, and he, he didn't spot it. So uh, he waits for a dramatic effect and uh, calls in the nuke just as the game ends. So uh, anyway, I hope that you guys like this. I hope that um, you know, watching the game and hearing my observations was something you like. If, it's, if this is a cool idea, then I bet I could get other YouTubers to contribute videos as well. And we can sit there and, uh, and break down the gameplay and uh, see if we can learn anything. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, if you're on to part two here, you're probably on the Huppet Gaming channel. I hope that you guys subscribe. We look to only have the best directors and the best commentary on YouTube with this channel. It's going to be real